Welcome to my channel Learn Computers and today our topic is iterative statements in a Python or we say loop control statements in a Python. Uh, so what are loop control? In simple words, if we want to run a code up to several times, we need a loop control statement or iterative control statements. Uh, look at the screen. Uh, there is a loop with the test expression which produces result true or false until the result by the expression is true the loop will continue so friends uh, uh, the in a python uh, uh, there are two types of loop uh, while loop and for loop uh, while loop is a simple loop but for loop in a python is a bit different from the for loop in any other language like c c plus plus and java so friends uh, we discuss only while loop here and uh, you can uh, you can watch my another video regarding a for loop so let's back to the while loop uh, please uh, look at the screen this is a python ide i click on new file take any variable for example c it is also called a counter variable initialize it uh, one put statement while while is a keyword in python Ten. So friends, uh, this is a test expression c less than equal to 10. Uh, now we see it is always true. So this loop is uh, infinite loop means uh, if we write uh, print uh, for example hello. So hello will print uh, infinite number of times or we say we print hello c means hello one so this is an infinite loop because uh, c is always less than 10 mm, so never so always update counter variable in this case it is a c if we run infinite loop there is no use of infinite loop look at the screen i save simple w put any name any location save so friends look at the screen hello one hello one hello one uh, this is infinite loop uh, so there is no need of infinite loop here uh, we have to kill click on the cross message your program is still running do you want to kill it okay so friends always update counter variable in this case i increment c by one again i run after saving so this is output of my loop hello one hello two hello three hello four and so on uh, and in the last uh, in the last uh, after printing hello 10 c is 11 and again check c less than equal to 10 means 11 less than equal to 10 is false so friends this is a circle of my loop So by using the while loop, uh, we can uh, develop so many programs. Uh, watch my other videos in which I cover all these programs. Uh, take care. Bye-bye. And uh, please, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.